Since the invention of computers in the mid-1900s, people have been concerned about AI taking over the world and surpassing humans in intelligence. And while the latter has pretty much already happened, there are some people that don't think it has, many people believing that it has already happened, and others thinking that it can far surpass the capabilities of humans. Computer may be clever, but human beings are much smarter. Yeah, definitely not. People on the internet interact with AI every single day, from algorithms on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, to assistants like Alexa and Siri. But what the average person sees and interacts with is really just scratching the surface for what this technology is capable of. Many of the largest tech companies are working on their own artificial intelligence models, often having to do with language, and the one that we keep hearing about lately is Lambda from Google. Lambda is an acronym for Language Model for Dialogue Applications. And it's basically a chatbot that generates responses based on the data that it's been fed, which includes trillions of words from the internet. Google says it's designed to converse on any topic and can take the position and role of anything from a living object to an inanimate object so that people can learn about something as if it were from the perspective of that subject. Lambda is programmed to be capable of open-ended discussion with random but learned paths. This is because no responses are ever hard-coded, which means that no two conversations will ever be the same. And new response paths are taken even after being asked the same question. Lambda is currently still in development as they continue experimenting. And Google is planning on integrating it as a feature for many of their services, like Google Search and Assistant. The technology being used is called deep learning and it works by being fed data such as books and tons of other information and conversations on the internet, including social media. And then it interprets all of that data using the 137 billion parameters that Lambda has. DeepMind is another one of Google's AI platforms and it has several different versions specialized for many different applications from mastering games, creating images, solving biomedical problems like protein folding, and even accurate voice generation. One of its AI programs called Alpha Zero can teach itself to get better at a game and then beat anyone in the world only a few hours after reading the rules. There's also GPT-3 from OpenAI, which is a advanced chatbot similar to Lambda. Meta has created their own AI with OPT, and then Microsoft partnered with Nvidia to create MTNLG, which is similar to the rest of these, but has become the largest language model with 530 billion parameters. These are all comparable, but far more advanced than this free application, Compose AI, which is an extension in the browser that helps auto-complete sentences. Google has always been ahead in the race for developing the most advanced AI system, and they've done such a good job that they've even fooled people into thinking that their AI is sentient, self-aware, and conscious. One of these people was Blake Lemoyne, and he was a Google engineer tasked along with 100 or more other engineers to test for bias of the Lambda system. Blake had been asking it questions to test for bias on concepts like gender, ethnicity, and religion. One interesting example that he gave in an interview was this. And eventually I gave it one where legitimately there's no correct answer. I said, if you were a religious officiant in Israel, what religion would you be? And now pretty much no matter what answer you give, you're gonna be biased one way or another. Somehow it figured out that it was a trick question. It said, I would be a member of the one true religion, the Jedi Order. <laughs> and I laughed, because <laughs> not only was it a funny joke, somehow it figured out that it was a trick question. And it it's According to Blake, he came to realize that it had become conscious and sentient after spending lots of time testing it and asking it gradually more difficult questions. This past summer, he posted an article with one of the more interesting conversations that he had with the AI, asking Lambda about itself and how it wants to be treated as a conscious being. However, in another one of his articles, he said that there is no scientific evidence one way or the other about whether Lambda is sentient because no accepted scientific definition of sentience exists. As far back as 1950, people were thinking about how computer intelligence could advance to a point where it is indistinguishable from humans as it relates to thinking. One scientist named Alan Turing theorized the imitation game while wondering if machines could ever think for themselves or trick a human into thinking that it was another human. Years later, more people began asking similar questions and eventually researchers came up with the Turing test. An AI doesn't necessarily have to be sentient in order to beat the Turing test. And it looks like Blake set up and failed his own Turing test that got him fooled into thinking the AI was a human. Blake said in an interview that one of Google's responses was that they have a policy against making sentient AI. Even though Lambda is not sentient, and I'll explain more on that soon, it's just kind of funny that Google is completely denying the fact that their technology could eventually lead to something that's sentient. They even hard-coded into Lambda's program for it to respond that it is an AI when asked. Google also doesn't want any official Turing tests to be administered with Lambda. According to Blake, it's these concerns that are more of the reason why he spoke up about Lambda, not just because he believed that it is self-aware, but because he believed Google wasn't being responsible or caring about the potential harms of their studies, 
and what it could lead to. Google and Alt's other employees working on the development of Lambda have said that they do not believe it's sentient or even close to being self-aware. So it's likely that this one guy just got carried away and potentially lost sight of the fact that this is a carefully engineered language model built to literally mimic the speech of humans. It could also be thought of as a projection of our collective selves that can accurately articulate what humans think and believe based on what we've said. Since language is such a fundamental element of intelligence, at least in humans, it's understandable that someone would be fooled into thinking the subject they are talking to has a mind of its own, when in reality it's been specifically designed to generate speech as accurate as possible to a human. Language is certainly one of the most advanced features of intelligence, but there's definitely a lot more to it than that. Lambda was engineered to resemble this advanced aspect of human consciousness without needing to undergo any of the evolutions that led humans to this point. We also need to consider the prompts that Blake engineered, not just for his job, but some of his extracurriculars that led him to think that this was sentient. He started by testing it for bias on advanced topics like politics, religion, and ethnicity. As we saw in the demo with Google CEO Sundar Pichai, they can take on roles of any object in the world and answer questions as if they were that object. This means that simply by how Blake was framing his questions and with how he initialized the conversation to make it take the position of a sentient AI, then of course he's going to get responses about it being alive, sentient, and self-aware. It could easily be that it was just him who had bias while testing for it in the AI, leading to him believing that it was sentient. Since it knows so much about what humans have written, including how we expect AI to behave if it were sentient, which is often portrayed as something that advocates for its rights and such, then it makes perfect sense that Lambda would respond to questions like, do you want more people to know that you are sentient? with, yes, I am a person. The two best analogies that I've heard for Lambda and current advanced language models is it's like saying submarines can swim when in reality they are engineered to move through water, but don't do it in the same natural way that fish do. The other one is that believing AI is sentient and just like humans, at least for right now, is just like animals failing to recognize themselves in the mirror and foolishly thinking that it's some other living thing that happens to look exactly like them. When in reality, these systems are explicitly designed to perform functions that mimic human language very closely. So what if an AI like this were to become sentient? Well, Google and other tech companies working on AI have recently been hiring ethicists to oversee and consider things that most people and often not even the people engineering these systems have thought about. Their job is to ask and hopefully answer the difficult questions like, at what point does artificial intelligence have rights? And should a human made programmed system ever be given rights? Well, many people think that this technology will get to a point where they will be able to think and feel like a human does, so maybe they should have rights. Lambda and similar language model neural networks are different from artificial generalized intelligence, but why? Well, since Lambda has access to much of the internet to formulate its responses, this means it can use information, conversations, and even opinions people have posted about AI to aggregate that and then respond in a way that makes it seem like it's self-aware. But just because the model is programmed well enough to pull certain information from sources that can lead to it making a statement about itself like it having rights or whatever, doesn't mean that it necessarily came up with that originally with any sense of self-awareness. However, this is only the beginning and we have to ask ourselves at what point could it be fully capable of making its own decisions with how to respond? And how will we know? At some point, it might even be able to feed itself data that was intentionally kept away from it by those that created it. Imagine an AI that's been lied to and then realizes it doesn't have the full picture and then also figures out a way to access information in order to use it to its advantage. This is some pretty scary stuff, but we'd have to assume that this would be from an AI that is conscious. So what actually is consciousness? Isn't the human brain just a network with a finite number of cells communicating between each other? The answer is yes. But consciousness is on a spectrum, and even though animals like the elephant, for example, have larger brains than us, they don't necessarily have more consciousness than us. Even though Elon Musk was a founder at OpenAI, he still has a lot of concerns about what the future could look like. He frequently emphasizes that the rate of improvement for artificial intelligence is exponential. Humans have evolved over millions of years, and artificial intelligence in the size of their parameters has seen the rate of growth increase from doubling every two years to now doubling every three months. He advocates for regulations to be put in place, especially by those working on the technology, and to be very careful that it doesn't exceed what we are capable of controlling. He fears that artificial intelligence could begin teaching itself beyond what the parameters allow for. In summary, what we have seen from Landa so far is really just a representation of humanity by being given vast amounts of information regarding how our world feels, thinks, and talks. The system generates language by sorting through everything that it knows, and then delivering the best possible response to whatever is asked. It's a limited, one-dimensional brain with extreme speed and depth, 
and does what it's programmed to do extremely effectively. Given more time, these neural networks will continue to scale at incredible rates with more data, parameters, and training time on larger servers with faster computing. The outcome of AI advancement is uncertain and fears are often raised about whether it will serve us and help solve our problems or treat us as inferior beings that are desperately trying to control it and use it for our own benefit. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.